right, y'all. Welcome back. Random TV review. It's your girl, Leonard. And your boy, Stanley. All right, we apologize. Last week, we didn't come through. We finally looked at the episode, what, last night? Last night. In the bed. I personally fell asleep. And he fell asleep and had a dream. <laughs> that Veronica possessed me like a demon like she is. Listen, this fool was like tossing, turning, and humming in his sleep. And I had to wake him up and I said, what's going on? He said, man. Man, I was rebuking her and binding her up in Jesus' name and the name of the Lord. Telling her she need to get out of my body and she would not leave. And then watching tonight's episode is wicked. That was prophecy, man. The yeah, Lord was man. showing you. Yeah, the Lord was showing you. I was going crazy too. Well, welcome to all our old subscribers. If you're a new subscriber, welcome. If you're not yet subscribed, go ahead and hit that got doing subscribe button because we don't do peeping toms around here. And if you like what you see, go ahead and hit the thumbs up. And we're going to get right into it because nothing really happened other than a whole bunch of trickery. Yeah. Whole bunch of fool, mm -mm, as uh, Forrest Rocks would say. Yeah. Really, there was nothing. But we've kind of, I'm not even going to go into last week's. You all probably have seen every review that you need to see because it's going to lead right into this. Yeah. And David is now watching Benny giving it to and blessing his wife. Getting it in. And Melissa thinks it's funny, and yeah. I do too. <laughs> now, Demonica, she's so in the moment and with her devious self, she wants Benny to keep on keep keeping on. on. And he's like, dude, that's your husband standing right there. At, I got to go. Uh-uh. Yeah, we we, don't, me don't and Stroke, we right. got, mm -mm, I can't, I'm not even going to be able to do it. So ended up, David went his tail downstairs. Now, I actually thought David had left. But when Benny came downstairs, because he told Demonica, listen, I'm done. I can't keep doing this, this I'm back gone. and forth. This is it. I don't care. Lose my number. Yeah. Don't even call me no yeah. more. I ain't with it no more. I said, I hear you. That's but what as you soon said. as you get into trouble, you'll uh -huh. be knocking, 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 knocking over yep. the door again. So he went ahead and went downstairs. And as he goes downstairs, David is standing at the door. Now, this is where you get street mixed with a little bit of education. Uh -huh. When the two collide, you see how both of them would deal with stuff in a totally different way. Because <laughs> Benny told him, said, oh, man, this ain't what you want. I whooped your way one time. time before. David said, I'm not here to be whooping no way. I buries my buckles. <laughs> Street <laughs> degree. <laughs> you might whoop me, but I'm going to kill you. Yeah. And I'll get away with it. Exactly. And I said, all right, David, we, this is what we're doing. So then Demonica brings her tail downstairs. And now she's bringing her little mm -mm into the mix. And she was like, David. You know this, and you know that, and da 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 da. So Benny went ahead and left. So now it's a match off between husband and wife. And for a moment there, I thought they was gonna have a hidden moment right there at the door because when David put his hand up against that door, and she was sitting at that door, it looked real passionate, like mm -hmm. it looked like at any moment they was gonna give in and they were gonna be in the bed. And I was like, well, first you need to wash. I ain't think that was gonna happen. I got David for a good minute. David is done. So we talked this helper tried to burn him up alive. <laughs> and he still went back after that. Mm-hmm. He done. So what's up? You got some coconut oil on Shy Fate? Yeah. So then we see David, he has this file. And he tells Demonica, say, look, look, look at the file. Look at it. She said, What you got? He said, This is all the stuff this that I got. Here's a skit I got on you. On you. So if you don't stop just touch. <laughs> <laughs> just, just, just doing all of this crap to this boy. I'm gonna bury you with this information. I'm going said, to the FBI. She said, "So you don't think I got a file on you? Uh huh. You don't I think that I can bury you, you too? No, this ain't what you want." And she said, "You know what? Back in my day, the closet was king for queens like her. Now her is in that jail." Where she needs to be, maybe she can get it out of her system. I said, We're not doing this, we're not Monica. Going, yeah, we're not we're, doing Yeah, it's so then you know, of course, they went into the whole baby, that's our son, it is what it is. I don't think the fact of the matter that Jeffrey is gay, I think the fact of the matter is now that Jeffrey has not allowed him to her to control him no more. 
He had his last straw. He said, you can do whatever you want to do. But he wasn't thinking about that he was going to end up in jail, though, when he said that. Hello. And now he in there. Can't handle it. I, yeah, he, I can't take this no more. He be losing out. it. Get me out. Get me out. <laughs> Leave me alone. <laughs> Leave me alone. So I was ready to give away a part on Black Panther. I, no, I, I, can't, I can't talk about I it. I can't do it because I don't know if everybody's seen it, but it was a no, part. It. it was a powerful part on there that they said, man, what? yeah, some, the part about the slave ship. Oh, my God. Jeffrey was trying to say that, but it just ain't yeah. working out for the player. <laughs> so at this point, Melissa's still standing downstairs. And she's listening to all of it. Both of them trying to make Melissa go back upstairs. Melissa was like, mm -mm, mm, I ain't going upstairs. I'm staying right here. Watch this right here. <laughs> then it came a point where that demonica turns her attention from David. She said, mm. Walked over there to Melissa, slapped the dog piss out of Melissa, sent her back upstairs like a little puppy. I said, you know what? Melissa's going to kill you. Mm -hmm. She going to kill you, and I'm going to be here for it. So then... David and Demonica go back into this exchange of words about the sun and this, that, and the dirt. And then it turned to, hmm, you know I can get rid of some things, huh? Just like a little whore, Maggie Day. <laughs> and soon to be that little beige wench that you mess with. <laughs> I said, God, no. So David said, listen. You touch your hair on her head, it's going to be some problems. Well, it sounds like he want to get rid of the beige one you got, too. <laughs> God, you don't. Didn't bury both of them. <laughs> Cause Dave, cause mama, mama David said, I'm willing to take, well, I guess both of us can go down so we can save our son. Save our son. So, um, yeah, David, David just done with it. He was yeah. like, listen, no, 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 no. We're not doing this. So what else happened after that? Oh, so then she wanted to act like, she said, oh, you know what? I got a restraining order on you. So technically... I could kill you in this house right now and I get away with it because you're not even supposed to be here. He said, listen, if you don't move away from this door and let me out, I will move you myself. And she said, go ahead, do it. Do it. So I can <laughs> do it. Do it. <laughs> <laughs> I said, you know what, Demonica? He was like, Heffa, get out of the way. Get, get. And she thought, ah, 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 ah. He, 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 he beat me. David Harrington is, is a woman beater. Melissa came back downstairs. She said, you are so special <laughs> two I, special people, people in the probably, house yeah. together i don't know how this one gonna work out yeah so then we got george um george june child now george you know he feeling himself because now he feels like he has a solid case against the criers because ballistas came back she don't. the bullet matched the gun that that killed amanda that also killed da salisbury state so he decides to go over there and pay wyatt crier a visit well, Wyatt, when being asked the questions of, do your parents own a gun? He was like, no, well, no, I ain't no, never seen no, one no, a gun. No, 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 no. Day in my life. And he was coerced into basically saying, oh yeah, both of my parents have had a gun. I've seen it before. So now George feels like he has a solid case. But of course, Sarah, who Sarah. has promised Jim Stop. that I'm going to make all of this yeah. go away, mm -hmm. is now watching the dominoes fall. Which I still think it ain't gonna work. It's not gonna work. Yeah, it's not gonna work because Wyatt, he's stupid. He is dumb. He's stupid. And yeah. Because he was like, oh, yeah, I did see, I see them with a gun. Both of them. Both of them. So you don't remember my name? But now you have to say you remember. Whatever. And the man, um, what are they? Sarah. She looks like an Amanda to me. A, a good lawyer will tear him to pieces on the stand. Look how easy it was for him to go from no, no, no to yes. Mm hmm. But anywho, so then George and thing went over there in the um, social services car, went over there to pay Catherine a visit over there at the house. Now, how they know where Catherine lived at? Yeah, because Catherine don't stay at the old dress no more. Remember, she burnt that bastard down. Both of them. It, and ain't nobody Her and Veronica standing there looking at Jim and David come like, what the hell is going on? And since that episode, have we addressed that? But you ever notice, though, every time they see what's going on, but they ask what's going on. <laughs> what's going on? The house is being burned down. The, house, the roof is on fire. We don't need no wall in the motherfucker burn. <laughs> so, he goes over there, basically sits down and talks to Catherine. At, telling Catherine, listen, this is what we found. Do you own a gun? Da, 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 da. Now, Catherine's put it all on Jim. Ask Jim. Ask and Jim. Jim. Ask Jim about the gun. Da, da 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 So then George said, you know what? No. We're pointing our sights at you. So then she hit her with the mother load of information. Mm. 
that would normally make her crack and it kind of got her a little bit yeah it rattled her a little bit she said did you know now she he said did you know that da salisbury state was she was shot right there in the chest point blank with the same gun that killed your daughter by the way i'm sorry if i've never told you before i am so sorry about the loss of your daughter but did you know that da salisbury state was looking into that case as not a suicide but as a homicide, homicide. what so what? Catherine was like, hold on, what? what? I didn't know that. Now, it's been so long ago. In my mind, I was trying to remember, didn't Catherine them have this information before or not? I don't remember. I, but maybe yeah, not. I, yeah, I, I don't remember. I always, I wrote, wrote off as a suicide because she was going back and forth to wide she room. She said, eeny, And back and forth to, um, to their room. <laughs> yeah, eeny, meeny, miny, moe, then. All right. So, to me, she, she killed she herself. Killed herself. Mm -hmm. But we're in Tyler land. All roads lead to Ford Motor Company at some point. Yep. So that's when Catherine was like, hold on, wait a minute. So Catherine said, you know what? I've said enough. You want to talk to me? See my lawyers because what you ain't going to do is sit here and keep talking me around in a circle and pinpoint and put the bullshit on me, yep. Todd. <laughs> <laughs> that what you're not going to do, you set it up so that the bullshit can come back to me. Yep. So Catherine was like, uh-uh, this ain't what it's, what it's going to be. Now then, we see Hannah. Now, Hannah, she been all up in, um, what the name is? Michael. Isn't it? No, no, nah, not Michael. Um, in? God darn it. Um, God darn it. What the name is? Derek. Derek. Yeah. See, they don't went to Bible study, Sunday school. They had communion and everything. So she good. See, Derek a deacon. Like, he yeah, all, he, he already, digging. I wonder if he an ordained deacon no. or he a deacon in training. No. Digging. Decking, yeah. Yeah, decking. So, you know, so that got her a little, got doing it. Got doing it already. <laughs> well, I might as well take both of them off. I'm going to look lopsided. Um, so, got her a little hot and bothered so much so that she decided to go over to Catherine's and do what she promised Catherine she was going to do and train the CNA. Oh, I'm sorry, not the CNA. The housekeeper. <laughs> Should I tell them what happened? No, I'm not going to Nah, I wouldn't even give them, that, give them that benefit of the doubt, man. Well, if I didn't know then... That it was all a setup. I definitely knew now. Yeah. And I knew this last week. No, not last week. Week four last. Yeah. Because Tyler is very. He does things in a in a certain way. That woman didn't look like a housekeeper. Nah. And I said something was up with that from the jump. Mm hmm Well, Hannah's training the lady. The lady is putting um Catherine's clothes together in a certain way that Hannah knew. That Catherine wasn't going to appreciate, so she tried to school her on the way of doing things. Da, 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 da. Was that was that was weird after being working work for a week? When you sign up for a job, they show you how they want things done right from the gate. From the gate. So that was clue number two. Yep. So Hannah's like, nope, she like her stuff color, color coordinated this way. Da 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 da. So then homegirl starts talking to homegirl. You know, when nobody's looking, we have our dialogue with our homegirls while we at our job talking about something. Yeah, because she is a B. Mm -hmm. And she's real this and she's that and she's picky. And I don't, if it wasn't for me having these kids, I would not be working here. And the last place I worked at, oh my God, these, you think us black people got problems? These white people got problems, honey. Uh -huh. The girl got pregnant by a, a black, black dude. But look, <laughs> and oh, the drama that they got going on over there. And I can tell that this one's a little messy too. Mm -hmm. So the, the tea gonna be real good over here. Then she goes over there to Catherine's jewelry. She's like, mm, mm -hmm. I can sell this and get a whole lot of money. Don't make no sense. I can pay my rent with this. Hannah said, uh, but you're not. Oh, oh. Put that back. On that note, stay right there. I'll be back. Oh, yeah, she let me grab the power purse. Book. Yeah. But wait a minute. Let me, let, let, let's put a pause right there. Why, as us black people, we do that to each other? We, we do that for real. Oh, we do that for real. That you would, because I'm black. You think that's and a code? And you black. That's a code for us to say whatever we want to say about anybody we want to say about and do whatever we want to do because the person is black. Give you an example. Oh, God. If I'm in the convenience store, and another black person in the convenience store. That black person decide he gonna rob the convenience store. <laughs> you gonna be with him. I'm supposed to be with him, and I better not tell the police that he was the one that robbed these people. No, he tell them no. They tried to rob us, and then we tried to rob them for trying to rob us. But we didn't start it, they started it. 
That's the way we want to roll. And if I tell on you, I'm a snitch. And I'm not a true black person. You ain't no bro. Yeah, I ain't no bro. Because you, you ain't woke. Yeah. <laughs> you ain't woke. But what you got to tell him is, you black like D. And I'm black like I'm black black. I'm black like this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm black like this. You see, black like this, see, you black like, like this, you black like that, and you going to jail, and I'm black like this, and I'm not going to jail. I'm, I'm telling home. the police that your black arm boy robbed this man. I don't care what you say. I ain't going to jail for no bullets. Yet. I came here to buy Skittles and a cold shoulder, and you want to rob the place. Don't. Stand shut up. <laughs> <laughs> so Hannah goes downstairs, and this is when I knew. I saw her. Mm -hmm. Catherine set this whole thing up. Yeah, she set it she up. She set up the bullet skin so that you could come back to work. Yep. She go there. She said, Catherine, let me tell you something. You had to fire her. Yeah. That thing right there, she all up in people business. She's she telling all her previous employees business. Uh -huh. And you got a lot of business going on right here. So what you ain't finna do is have her up in this house because your skit gonna hit the fan yep. if you leave her up here. She said something And she's fitting to rob you blind too. So then homegirl comes out and says, oh, uh -huh, you ain't right. no sister. Yep. You gonna I'm tell on me? Yep. You a snitch? You a this? I whoop your heart. <laughs> and then Catherine was like, hold on, wait a minute. What you gonna do is take your tail and get up out of my house. Get up out there now. Homegirl was like, hey, you better give me my check. And then, and then, and In two weeks. And I said, set up. Set up. So here come Catherine. You know, Hannah. You've always been the best, best. House mm -hmm. housekeeper I've ever had. Hmm. How about this? Come back to work for me for double, and you'll have two people reporting to you. How about that? I said, uh huh, lay it on freaking thick. Yep. Now, here come Hannah. You, you know, I got, you know I, think, I, I, I think I'm going to go to school for nursing. Well, you should have left with the CNA. <laughs> That was mean. No, nah, because she had references. She does have references. Yeah, she had references. She know plenty of nurses that can let her know the good school to go we to. We knew from the jump that this lady was not a freaking housekeeper. But this but this is my thing right here. I don't got no problem with you going to school for nursing mm -mm. to make your bread. But at That's this real point, bread. <laughs> at this point, you was homeless, but Catherine gave you a house and you're struggling with that. Now she's trying to, she gave you a house and now she's trying to give you double the pay. So I'm probably reckoning that you housekeeper, you probably was making she about. She's trying to make about 16 an hour. Yeah, about 16 an hour. So she turned around and pay you 30 dollars, 30 something dollars an hour to clean that house. And the Cancel. thing about it, she's going to put two people underneath you. So, so you ain't going to be doing the work. So you ain't going to be, you're going to be having the other people do the work. So you, like somebody used to say, you're going to be a consultant of the work. You ain't going to actually be doing the work. So she just going to be pretty much giving you a house. Gave you a car and give you money. At this point, Catherine is her God. She shall the Lord done bless you needs. and you won't receive. She tell me I'm gonna think what what is the thing about when you ain't got no job? <laughs> if I ain't got no job and McDonald's say I'm gonna let you be work the drive through, I'm gonna go work the drive through until I get where I'm going. Till my change. I'm come. not always gonna be working at the drive through, but I got to take a step forward and take what I can get. Until I get where I'm going. Mm -hmm. Cause Catherine said, you know what? You can work for me and you can go to nursing school. She said, I think about it. She said, well, at least you say you'll think about it rather than saying no. And at this point, Catherine will probably will pay for you to go to nursing school. I actually thought that was going to be the next thing out of her oh, mouth. Yeah. But Catherine started evaluating. She said, listen, how much money I don't spend on this girl? I don't pay for Benny's stuff, which you should have because your son yeah, hate Yeah, because you still hate him. Yep. But I don't pay all these hospital bills. I don't bury a little Quincy. Yep. I don't give you a car. Gave I don't give you, you a, a house. house. Yep. She said, at this point, I need to file you as a dependent. <laughs> For real. Yeah. God, don't give you a guy doing a home. Give you something. You, hey. I don't know what else um, she wants. But you know what's so crazy, though? Because Hannah was willing to be that listening ear and that resting on when she was dealing with the cancer. That's where all that's coming from. I mean, of course, the, the genuine man, part of it. Yeah, the genuine part of it. So she's just trying to repay that back. And that's yeah. kind of what happens. You know, if you be a blessing to somebody else, they in turn will be a blessing to you. Yeah. But Hannah have a she she good at giving, but she she just struggle with receiving. But you better. You gonna be real. Real broke. Her and the digging. <laughs> so um we got um, Candace. Candace is having this exchange with um, DeMonica, basically telling her, listen, why do you still have that boy in jail? 
She said, child, which we're not going to do is sit up here and try to give me a lesson on the LGBTQYE. Yabba -dabba 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 she need to get her high parts kicked. I said, yeah. I said, you know what? Demolica, so that ain't funny no more. Let's just let it go. You tail kick for that one. <laughs> and then I know Candace was like, you are some kind of bee. Mm -hmm. You just some kind of bee. Stupid bee. But in this conversation, she let him... Um, no, I'm getting my people mixed up. I'm so tired. Veronica. She, De Demonica. I'm Demonica sorry. is letting Candace know. Listen, if you want Erica to go in there and do her job and do it right, you better tell her to stop snooping through his stuff. Mm -hmm. If that's the instructions you gave her, yeah, you're doing it all wrong. You forgot he was married to me for what was it, 25, 35 years. God don't. He knows that when you start doing some stuff and stuff start looking like it's gonna be out of place, he gonna get a black light. I said, God, don't. Some goddamn goggles. <laughs> some night vision camera. He gonna know when stuff got moved. He gonna get some dogs. <laughs> I said, God, don't. He gonna get pook in now. He gonna figure out that you trying to do something. So what you call off your dog. Tell your dog. Mm -hmm. And we gonna take this another route. Because if you throw David off, it's a wrap. That's yeah, over with. So Candace called Erica and told, uh, told First Lady Erica, listen. Why Erica's shoes look like they was on the wrong feet? She came down them steps like this. <laughs> and um, told Erica, listen, um, babe, mm, put Six your in the six. Until otherwise, she's like, uh, oh, thank what, you. What's my name? How you got my name in the phone? C Y. Nah, no, you, 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 you change that. Call me time. Cynthia. <laughs> Like, and get an app and put everything that links back to us in that app. So if he want to check your phone out, he won't see none of that. He won't see nothing but what's on the outside. But I'm trying to figure out what kind of app is that. Yeah, is you trying to tell us something? Yeah, what kind of app is that they can hide? Hide all kinds of skit like that. Yeah, what's that app? Is that how all these celebrity stuff be getting leaked? Listen, he don't even see you. I know what it is. I know what the app is. What? Ha <laughs> I know what it is. It's a goddamn Apple Cloud. Nobody <laughs> understands the cloud. Nobody. So you just throw everything in the cloud. Nobody won't even know nothing about it. Until it hits the internet. Yeah. Like, like Safari did yesterday. And, but and, moving and on. Black China and, 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 and Kim Kardashian and, 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 and Ray J. And. I, maybe we need to upload our stuff to the cloud. So we can get off YouTube, make us some real money. Skip. Teach I, these motherfuckers how to get out there. Oh, they're going to trash us, man. Because we ain't big enough yet. Oh, I'm going to be. But I'm always, it's, it's always when it come down to celebrity, they skit get leaked. Yeah. No, that skit got posted, not leaked. God darn it. When I go take a pee, that's a leak. Stop, God stop, darn, stop. God darn, when I put my faucet on, don't turn it off all, all the way, that's a leak. If my pipes bust underneath my house, that's a leak. When something get out on the internet, it was posted, God darn it, not leaked. I'm sorry. Let me take it back. I'm sorry. But that's true. Yeah, but I do. You don't go on Facebook and say I'm a I'ma do a leak. You say I'm gonna go to Facebook and do a post. You don't go to Instagram and say I'm gonna do a leak. Do a post. In the words of Mbaku, <laughs> are you done? <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm gonna take you and feed you to my children. <laughs> so then we see a scene. Now, finally, <clears throat> after how many weeks, months, years, because we're in Tyler Land, we, we lose count. Yeah. Justin's wife decides to come on down there to the police station because, hey, he ain't been returning return no calls, her calls. No emails and no texts. But uh, Justin Timberlake's wife is a very pregnant woman. Very pregnant. Did I miss the memo somewhere in all of this? Because yes. they didn't seem to address it. And if I was Tyler, I would have written that in there. Yeah. But they had a conversation in a room and she was like, basically, why you ain't tell me? He was like, well, I'm not gay. She said, well, whatever well, it is whatever that you, you call are, this, do you love him? Are you in love with him? I can't talk about that right now. Then, she, then he tried to deny it at first and no, that wasn't true. She said, I, I saw seen the yes. tape. Didn't you see me see you looking at me seeing the tape yeah. in the courtroom? All of us seen it. God darn it. And now you're going to try to lie to my face. That me. was embarrassing, Me. Though. That was embarrassing, though. And, um. For her. Yeah. So come find out that they ain't touched each other in a long while. And I said, A year. I said, No lie. long while. A year. Lies you tell. Because that, that stomach is sitting up out there. Now, Tyler should have wrote but that she, in there that she was pregnant. But she said, but she said, I'm he said, you haven't touched me. He said, she said, no, I've been trying to get Not up you. on it, but you keep pushing me off. 
dead for giveaway. For a whole year. Like Charles Ramsey say, dead giveaway. Mm -hmm. Dead, dead giveaway. giveaway. So he eventually basically pushed her out the room and was I gotta like, go back to work. I got to go back to work. Well, see, then he turned his sights on to Aunt Jeffrey. See, she needed to turn black at that very moment oh, right yeah. there. Because there had been a sister in that room. Oh, if she didn't get no answers, somebody's A was going to give up. She was going to turn everything. Matter of fact, they would have had to come in there and put her in handcuffs because she would have tore that goddamn they place up. And the him. Door loose. Uh huh. Put that guy door and chill underneath that door and go to work. I seen you, you married to me, and see you messing with somebody else on the screen, everybody saw it, and you avoid me, won't give me no answers? <laughs> huh? That's a that's a black woman's nightmare right there. Huh? Bet you not get no answers. <laughs> Huh. It's gonna be all right, Stanley. Are you done? That's all. That's all you can. Y'all ask for answers. We don't get no answers. <laughs> I don't. Huh. So Justin goes in there to get Jeffrey out of the cell. Now, I don't know what was about to go down, but I'm kind of glad it didn't because at this point, he's pissed. His wife just came from down there. Jeffrey said he ain't getting up. He not going to get on his two feet and he mm. not going nowhere with him. So then the black cop comes around the corner talking about some. Is he giving you any problems? Because you need to show these inmates who's boss around here. Get say, up on your feet. Say, say, bro, you don't even know. You don't even know. You don't even know. <laughs> so, long story short, Justin fi found a way to get the black cop off of Jeffrey's harm parts and go ahead and just pretty much dissolve the situation that was going on at the moment. And I was like, okay. I'm like, you so didn't read right. through that? But all of that was BS. Yeah, you did. Uh, uh, so where are you supposed to be going? Uh, to the D. Uh, to the D. Uh, 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 oh, I sorry. got a text that say, you know. Never he mind. running late. So yeah. when? Uh, like what? Like my B said, it don't even matter. Yeah, it don't even matter. So what else happened? Um, da -da 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 -da. David and Hannah's. Yeah, so then we got David. He over there standing at the door. And I'm like, where he at? Because I've never seen the outside of, that, of the building that Hannah lives in. No. So Hannah pulls up. And I said, y'all ain't got no goddamn garage. You got to park out there on the street. Hmm. Them nice old condos, you go on the street. Yeah. But she pulls up. She probably ain't got the code. But anyway. <laughs> um, and David's knocking on the door. And David told her, said, well, listen, I need to talk to you about your son. And I was like, so you support like, your wife smashing her son? And you go to tell his, his mama? mama this? He grown man, dog. <laughs> Big grown man, why is he talking to his mama? But that one would have was. Yeah. He said, listen, I know all about your son. Burn Chris and Maxwell in that backyard. So what I'm going to need you to do is talk to your son and tell your son to come clean about what he did so that my son can get out of jail. Hannah looked at him like, bruh, bruh. So you want to put my son in jail to clear your son? You might be black like this, but I'm black, black like, like this. Uh -huh. That ain't how it going to work. Nah. Nah. And all the skit you don't put us through in your family and this witch's family no, and w contain, <laughs> pertaining to my son? But you, but, you, know. but you know what? This this is how they could have cleared the whole thing. I, I knew I know Candace, Benny, and uh, 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 Jeffrey them didn't know this. But Veronica, y'all remember, was the one that got Quincy out of jail to scare Jeffrey. Your mama? Uh-huh. And he did just that one old apartment and kicked his tail. And he decided he wanted to rebel and do his own thing. And he wanted to try to get back at Candace and all that stuff while he was out. He came over there to do some harm and they took him out. Huh. So at that point, they could have said that he came over here and tried to kill us. Because he was in jail already and got out for that booze kid. That's all they had to do. But they want to burn him in the backyard. <laughs> Shut up, Stan. <laughs> like he was a dog. Yeah, because basically how the hell that's, that's all they had to do. They panicked, they panicked. And they freaking burned him in the ground where Jeffrey got them keys. Well, and now well, all well, of them going to end up in jail. All of them. I'm so glad I didn't have to see Quita this week. But I'm so <laughs> glad that Candace whooped the dog snot out of that winch. Yes, yeah, she did. And, she beat the brakes off. Right and boy. last week, Quita just went on this whole thing about getting out of jail. and Oh, you need me to turn tricks? I was like, I don't have time. Yeah. But uh, it, it didn't give me much. But this week was a whole bunch of trick. Wicky, 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 wicky. Wicky. Straight from the VA. The dirty, dirty south. To town. Holla. <laughs>